So you, when you want a cheeseburger, you want it now. I know I always do. The fast food industry is facing steep competition thanks to what they're calling the Amazon Prime effect. The online retailer has already changed the face of retail. Now it's raising the bar for restaurant chains in some ways. Here now is Jamie Richardson, White Castle Vice President. So you call this the Amazon Prime effect. And we were talking about this in our meeting this morning. It's not really about the fact that people expect to get burgers in the mail, obviously. <laughs> right. But the Amazon Prime conditions the customer to think that they should never be in any pain. If you want your stuff right away, you should be able to get it right away. Is, am I explaining it right? You tell me. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we were in a higher restaurant association meeting, and this uh, researcher, Casey Menton, mentioned this to us, and we started to realize that's what's happening with customer expectations because now it goes from your mind to your mailbox in a matter of moments, and you right. can get whatever you want. A year's worth of school supplies overnight whatever it is so you look at it and you you look at it like what is the pain that my customer is feeling that I have to erase right right because the pain with Amazon was waiting for stuff they got rid of that so in your right. business what was the pain you had to get rid of well the pain for us was people wanted to have our menu available all day every day and so we've been doing burgers for breakfast since 1921 yeah. but now we've had breakfast available uh, all day every day uh, for over a year now it's going yeah. great waffles for dinner so why not that is one of those things I would arrive at you know whatever place with my kids and it would either be breakfast right. and they want lunch or lunch and they want breakfast and inevitably you know that's a problem you yeah. get rid of that um, another thing that you learn from the Amazon Prime effect is using technology to your advantage in your business I mean we were looking today the idea of robotics and right. replacing employees with robots um, some studies said that they think 2020 is the tipping point when you'll really see more people behind the counter disappear. Do you think that's true? I'm not certain that's going to happen overnight. I think in, in our industry, it's about a heart for hospitality, and there's that human interaction factor that allows you to solve problems on the go. I think any automation that helps us serve customers better is going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's going to accelerate because we're seeing labor rates go way up. Right. So where do you think that's more likely? I mean, they talk about at the counter, you type in your order, and then they keep people in the back. Sure. To me, it's the opposite, that you have the people at the front yeah. talking to people, and the automation is happening in the back. I mean, I've seen the different machines that can make burgers. Right. Where do you think robots are more likely? Hidden in the back or at the front, at the counter where you're typing For your White order? Castle, our investment in technology has been focused on how do we prepare food better, hotter, so tastier, yeah, in the back of house, because that's freed us up to offer more hospitality to our guests when they come in to visit. Yeah. Um, and wages drive that. I mean, we talk politics here, of course, yeah. and we talk with you, and, you know, they talk about trying to raise the minimum wage, and those fat right. cats at the top can really afford it, but yeah. in truth, so many of the places that you go into are franchises, and these are small business owners and stuff, small right? Small business owners for the restaurant industry around the country. The other thing is, we're seeing radical increases in the whole state of New York, city of Chicago. The first thing that happens is it hurts the people it says it's designed to help. Those young kids, Professor Milliken taught us back at Siena Heights that those the people it's going to hurt the most. Yeah. That's what we're seeing happen in our neighborhoods, and it's stuff on them. Yeah, you either have to raise the prices for the people that are coming in, right. and a lot of times you can't raise them that much, right. or you're cut, you're having to cut the number of people and the number of hours you have. Yeah, there's the fewer counter. jobs available at the end of the day. 1% margin, usually 2%. You talked right. about that a while ago. Right. Jamie, thank you so much. Always fun. Dave